Hello everyone, welcome back. Prison Architect Alpha 20. I'm joined here by Frank and Thumb. Frank and Thumb, you want to say? Frank and Thumb's here. Frank and Thumb's here. Yep. It's probably our first video where the audio is not completely screwed up or anything. So that's good if you're watching Portal. If not, <laughs> watch that. So, Alright, so I'm going to hit play here. I'm going to play it half, like, a little like, a little bit faster. Yeah, we're a little bit faster. Frank okay. and Thumb, you haven't seen anything about this, have you? I'm not, I have just seen pictures pictures of prison architect. Well, I've not seen them actually moving like this. This is interesting. Rumors. Yeah, you haven't seen you see rumors of them moving. Pictures. So if you can zoom in, I don't know if you get audio of this, but Frank Thumb's not in the room. He's watching, observing uh, through the wonders of Skype. Yeah. So uh <coughs> Okay, so this Hard is a metal kind of make out what it is unless you know, I guess. Yeah. Okay, it's a little difficult. What's yeah. that room there to the right with the orange little circles in it? Well, these are light bulbs. This is a storage room, and oh. these are light bulbs that oh, are installed. There. This light bulb right here is installed. That's what this is. So it are provides light. Them? Yeah, but you also... What? They're making them, or what are they doing in there? No, they're storing them. That's storage. Oh, that's the storage. And so is this. This is deliveries. This is fresh stuff that just came in. Cause, um, we'll get to that in a second. <clears throat> I can smell right. the light bulbs for one. Uh, so there's, right. there's fog of war, and... I need to go like, in and change the light bulbs, huh? No, well, no. Oh, well, yeah. They have to install them on the new area at the prison. Oh, I just, okay. I, ju I just uh, got done remodeling everything. Like, this used to be the kitchen. Like, all this over here. So I moved that. Okay. Can canteen, I mean. I keep saying that. This is the kitchen. This is the canteen. So now they make the food over here. Yeah. yeah. And then they come over here and put oh, into these... Oh, you got some prisoners in there, even? Yep, you can get work programs, which are in the classrooms. Like, this <laughs> thing over here. Oh. It's a classroom. Nice. Okay, <laughs> so, yeah, so then these guys have graduated a class, cooking class, so now they can work in the kitchen. Nice, look at that, yeah. Yeah, these are security monitor stations, <laughs> so they can nice. watch uh, the cameras, which are like, uh, <laughs> right here, there's little cameras I put on a wall. Okay. To monitor these. So cameras will remove the fog of war. And you see this guy's graduated like some kind of cleaning class so he can clean in the okay. floors and stuff. Okay, <laughs> he's sitting there going around cleaning. Yeah, and this guy's got a special face because he's, uh, uh, what is it? He like paid early access for the game or whatever. So he gets his face and stuff in the game. Huh. Oh, I see. A Kickstarter. He's like a higher Kickstarter thing. Because this is just an alpha. And that guy got caught with a knife coming out of the kitchen. Uh-oh. So when they go through the metal detector, like... Here we can. Uh, <laughs> He's got see. handcuffs on him. Yeah, contraband somewhere. Contraband. What's he doing? He just kind of stands there. Well, no, he'll get an officer will come pick him up and bring him to whatever. <coughs> there uh, he ha goes. See, for having a knife, he has to go to solitary confinement. So those oh, are yeah. like little tiny cells. Oh just yeah. Just lock you, you in there, but I don't away. think they actually right close that corner. door. Yeah. Okay, oh. so you see here, like these, this knife from the kitchen, you can yeah. get knives, forks, and spoons. A spoon is a tool they can use to dig out the prison. Oh. And but they're all three of them are metal, so they get caught in the metal <laughs> detector. Okay. Where say if they snuck into the office, they could get like narcotics and like cell phones and uh, cigarettes and stuff. <laughs> and anything that's a narcotic or smelly can be picked up by the dogs, I think. Oh. Not, which are patrolling around as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so the dogs are in the kennel the here. Cigarettes. So you'll see them running yeah, around. Yeah, see the dogs. Let's see. Where do you find a dog? Now the the dogs patrol routes. Okay, they well, kind of here. roam around. Well, they have a handler nice. too. Oh, okay. Which are? They're, maybe they're all dead. There's one. It's this guy, dog handler, dog. Oh. And you'll see they all have bulletproof vests and tasers, which are upgrades that you get. Okay. So these guys are fully decked out. Common room. Yeah, I'm, okay, I think we can go over the HUD a little bit. Let's go. So we got this. Um, yeah, what do we got up here? Danger, top left. <clears throat> so if this goes up, it'll go up with little red marks, and that means that's how close you are to a riot. <laughs> and if they if they riot for too long, then you lose control of your prison, and you might get arrested or just you lose the game or something. Yeah, you okay. lose the game or, uh, yeah. Uh, this is just the day, how long I've survived, so 68 days. This is my current bank balance, which I just spent most of it building this other section of the prison over here. This over here. <coughs> this hmm. is my daily cash flow. Okay. Which, uh, for every prisoner you get, you get some amount of money, X amount of money, and then for every guard, you have to pay them a day, so that drops 
the uh, daily cash flow. But right now, mine's actually pretty high. It's doing pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah. And then uh oh, have, what's going on there? It's lunch. Oh, they're all getting out. Yeah, they're all getting out. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, are they all jumping on someone or something? <laughs> no. Uh, well, yeah, when a riot starts, which I haven't had one in a little bit, <laughs> it can get pretty bloody. And now they added a really cool button that you can press, and it just everyone just dies. Just execute oh. button or free fire or something like that. And the, the guards, the armed guards, are some armed ones with shotguns. They just go oh. gun ho blasting everybody. <laughs> um, and the prisoners can then get a hold of them weapons as well. If they can kill them or break into the uh, weapons armory. Oh, armory. Which is down here. Through the dog kennel. Which, all these staff doors. Through the dog kennel, of course. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the, um, the prisoners have to break through staff doors <laughs> or jail doors and solitary doors to get through. Um, or they can kill a guard and take the key, the jail keys, and then they start walking around free. Uh, where are we? So the guards here, you got two numbers, one on the left okay. and one on the right. The one on the left is the number that you have available, and to the right is how many you have all together. So I have 29 guards that aren't on patrols. All the rest oh. are on patrol routes. So the ones that are freely run around will usually come and stand around in like the canteen, uh, the yard, or the, there are holding cells, which it looks like, I don't know, we're just saving. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. They may wait in a holding cell. <coughs> like these two, they, they aren't they controlled here. They do help still. Yeah, yeah. And if somebody requests to open a door, see this guy's going to run, he's going to open the door for him. Oh. He's coming to this visitation center, that's what this is. Oh, no, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And he's helping that. him. But for some reason, when they go to leave, they do decide to go into the prison and then come back out. Now, are they searched or something, them guys? No, this, the visitors aren't searched, which is a little oh, bit of a problem, because oh. that's where a lot of this stuff gets snuck in at. Over yeah. Here. I have a metal detector, but there's no, <laughs> there's no Trick dog on constant control. In. Yep, all the drugs and stuff. They can get tools, and they can actually get guns through here. Uh-oh. So, you have a, a, a shakedown button, which is down here. And, uh, but you can't always be doing it. No, the prisoners will start to get angry for involuntary searches and stuff, oh. or un unwarranted oh, yeah, searches. Right. Right. Yeah. So here's the new section of the prison that we're building. So a lot of this junk that you see like built up over here, that's all okay. being yeah. transported over here to be installed. <clears throat> so I only have enough money to build half of each one of the cell blocks. But uh, I build all my cell blocks the same, but you can build them you know, in any way you want. Okay. So I just go with the same pattern. I like it, Tr tried and true. So I go with a shower room in the back. Some people will build like a shower room for each cell. There'll be like a small sh uh, shower. Yeah. Uh, I just went with one big common shower room. Yeah, they're not that luxurious. Yeah. <laughs> no, these guys don't deserve their own showers. Oh, this is a bad prison. <laughs> yeah. These are bad people. Yeah. So. Don't drop the soap. No, you yeah. definitely don't want to do that in here, especially <laughs> like I when it when the um kitchen canteen was over here. They would all go use the shower, so there'd just be all the prisoners just sh shoved oh, in there. Oh, I like here. it in there. Yeah, they would really enjoy <laughs> that. But it was handy when I had a dog, because a lot of the times there would just be a dog patrolling right here, and he would just sniff everybody as they're running by. <laughs> so that was good. Nice. So right now they're waiting for the power cables to be installed, and the pipes oh. to pipe in the water. Now conveniently, you only need one power, one pumping station to power the entire uh, water to the entire prison, so that's pretty good. But oh. you do need to divide your power uh, sparingly. So each one of these uh, capacitors will add another little block to this uh, generator. And the generator <laughs> has like, I don't know, four or five on its own. Uh -huh. So this is the maximum output design. Right, right. And they can't, the power can't overlap or otherwise they'll shut the entire system down. <laughs> so you have to be careful, so you have to leave this gap here. Um, so you can take a look, we'll take a look at that. Real quick, contraband, I can't, deployment. Bureaucracy, utilities. Oh, utilities, that's it. Okay, so here you go. So you see, I go with my power for like all this area. It's yellow, that's come from this one. And it's like lighter green. You have to put the wire colors. in then? Yep, you have to place the cables so? yourself. Yep. Okay, I see. Well, then the, yeah, then the little staff come in and place it. So then this one comes all the way around because I had to redesign it. You know, I had them over here. So yeah. Removed. So now this one comes all the way around and then powers all these cell blocks. Jeez. And then this other one comes around and powers the workshop and the this new cell block eventually. Okay. 
Okay, so let me yeah, just press that. A lot going on. So, yeah, there's a lot going on there. Um, what else do we have? And the lot? red, the red level there is how that's, much you're that's using. That's what you're using. Yep. So we still yeah, have a few so little blocks decent, now. Yeah. Amount, but there's still some there. Still some left. Um, armory. For the armory, the armory works different than other guards. For most guards, you can just place them down, and you don't need anywhere for them to stay. But each armed guard needs their own locker. They're really, they're really high maintenance. <laughs> and this was just a little office I added for decoration. I felt it was oh. necessary. So it's like yeah. the Might sergeant well. officer, yeah. And this is where there's a staff room for all the normal staff over here to rest. Okay. And then there's the armory where the armed guards like to come to rest. So I gave them a little table decoration stuff. <laughs> uh -huh. And the kennel, uh, I think, that, I'm not sure if the kennel handlers, the dog handlers, might actually go into the staff room to rest. I'm not sure. And then we have the workshop, yeah, which is, this is where you make the <coughs> bank here. This is where the prisons where make you their make money. money. Yeah. So right now it's, it's really covered by fog of war, so you bring some guards in here. You can select your guards and then tell them to move somewhere, which is another cool feature. Huh. So they come in, you can see the tables. <coughs> Let's see, we're making license plates up here, and we're chopping wood down here, but I don't know if I have anyone that can chop wood right now. Can we come take a look? No one's actually in there. No, I don't think anyone's... Oh, no, there are. So people are cutting wood. So that's where some pretty good money comes from as well. Um, there's the classrooms where teachers would come in from the outside to teach the different classes that we have. <laughs> the common nice. room is to serve a need, which we can take a look at. So this is the staff. You can take a look at all these different boards. This is all the workers that we have. The guards and stuff. Prisoners are over here, so we have a lot of high risk. 206 high risk prisoners. Oh wow! To um, That's different shapes. Yeah, shapes, sizes, and some have unique faces, like this guy right here. Yeah. Uh, then we have this is the normal risk prisoners, and we don't have any low risk. We have 34 normal <coughs> risk. Can now prisoners. can you choose which ones you want to take on? Yep, you can open or close your prison to anybody you want, or all of them if you wanted to. Oh, these are the jobs. I never pay attention to this ever. Needs is something that you want to watch. So you got bladder. So you have to make sure they have access oh, yeah. to bathrooms. The bowels, same thing. Just, you know, bowels for their little number twos. <laughs> uh, sleep is how tired they are. Uh, okay. Food, you know, is hunger, which I think I just got to the bottom of that. I think I just fixed hunger. Safety is how safe they feel. How many times are people getting stabbed and whatnot. Hygiene, sure. shower. Exercise is a time to the yard, I think. And uh, family is how much access they have to like phone booths and the visitor tables. <laughs> uh, recreation's yard as well. Um, comfort, uh, I think that's how many like bookshelves and stuff, like the common room will help uh, oh. comfort. Environment, I guess how much stuff's destroyed and being cleaned. Privacy is probably how many times we're being searched, same with freedom. I think and clothing yeah. is clothing is just for like the laundry room they have to have access to clean clothes so the laundry room satisfies oh, that need exactly. so this is right here so you got a uh, laundry machine so you get these little laundry baskets they'll throw clothes in and wheel the little laundry baskets around <laughs> uh, nice little ar ironing board and so contraband so supply and demand so this is how much are available and this is how many the prisoners want. So the prisoners apparently don't want weapons, maybe because they already have some. Yeah, uh, they have a demand for tools, <laughs> uh, narcotics, and luxuries still as well. Yeah. Regime, this is something that you're going to want to change. See, I kind of got this sort of workout going for me. They sleep, you know, up until 5 a.m. Then they get <laughs> up, take a shower first thing, eat, you get some free time to satisfy most of their needs during free time. Then it's work, eat, yard, free time, work, uh, free time, eat, shower, back to bed. <laughs> so it's been working out pretty well for me lately. So, right. um, Policy, this is how you can determine how long their punishment is and what their punishment is for different <laughs> crimes. Oh, um, that's so, pretty good. Yeah, see, so if someone tries to escape, then it's automatically search him in his cell. Or if he attacks yeah. somebody else, his, him in his cell are attacked, or searched. Right. And the same with staff and all the same down the line. Uh, so each prisoner is assigned to their own cell. 
uh, grants. Right now, I have a mod in that prevents me from getting all the other grants that are available. So I, this is the last grant I have is to get 300 prisoners in a uh, functioning prison. And then I'll have finish my grant. Other grants are like, you know, how to get started and they give you a bunch of money. They give you oh. money just for accepting them and then money for completing them. So like the first one's to build some offices. There's one to build a war, uh, an infirmary and a, a morgue. Uh, one okay. to build a kitchen and canteen, you know, all that stuff. Uh, the programs thing is for all the uh, different uh, classes and stuff you can assign people to. And then it has how many people are interested, uh, you know, people that are willing to go to the class if it were available. How many people actually completed it, and then how many people passed. Oh, uh, nice. <laughs> the same thing down the line. So then, uh, finance. This is, used to be the scoreboard, I think, but now they changed it. So now, you see where all your money's coming from, how much money you're making a day, and the whole breakdown oh. of that. But here is the valuation screen. This is, how, this is what your prison's doing. So right now, I have a total of $870,000 worth the, the prison's worth. Okay. So that's pretty good. And then you can also sell shares and buy your shares back. So you, <laughs> see, I own 80% of my prison because I've sold off some of it. And then okay. you can sell your entire prison and I think take that money to a new one. I'm not sure. Oh. See, so I can sell mine for $696,000, which is 80% of the 870000 Right. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> if I can. Oops. Oops. Is that more than you, that you put into it then, would you say? Yeah. No, is it like and, beneficial to sell it eventually? Um, <laughs> and try well, to like, if you use want that a new, You can get new water. maps because like right now, I don't think I have any water, but I think water is a new feature that you can have on your map and I don't think there's any way to get rid of it. So now you can't just build the big massive blocks of uh, prisons. Okay. You have to expand that around the water. Is. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, um... So this section over here is for, I, I went with a different design. This is for the normal risk, medium risk prisoners. I can just bust into a cell, always sleep in, you know, just give them a little <laughs> rough housing. And for this one, I did go with a, a little bit individual showers just because these guys aren't as violent of murderers and rapists and all those good folk. And then, uh, let's see, cleaning cupboards, what you need so prisoners can clean. Um, this one I gave its own. Huh? Interrogation room over there. Which one? No, oh, this this cleaning, <laughs> cleaning <laughs> common room. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> um, so what else is there? Went over a lot, I think. Yeah. It's pretty good. These guys are still building. Takes some time. This one's done, except for the water's not. Water's not flowing. Let me take a look at utilities. That's because, see, I didn't place this last pipe, so there we go. Uh. There we go. After that, water will flow to all those toilets and showers on this side. And what else can we go through? I did that. Door. This is a, this is a little bit of annoying. Uh... To, in order to make the prison a little bit more secure, you know, I like closed off the front entrance so that they couldn't get to it as easily. Oh. And then they added these road gates so that the trucks can come in. So, but the <laughs> trucks have to be open, let in by guards. So when they're trying to uh, leave, it can be a little bit of a backup. Oh. But you can manually open and close doors. Well, open them anyways yourself. Okay, that, that helps. Yeah, so it's a big help. So overall, I think it's a really good, really, really nice game. Like yeah. That. Seems nice. So we can, uh, we can try playing a little bit. So what would I do? So I got 19,000. So what I'm going to do right now is continue building these cells. So there's this really handy uh, clone tool, which I just started using recently. So I can clone, let's see, I think I go for that. And I can place this, and it'll place all the items and building and stuff down for me. Oh, oh. So it's placing the toilet, marking it, cell, uh, the bed, and the uh, door, and the walls are all coming in on its own. So I do that. So I can probably finish off this whole, all these cell blocks. Maybe not all of them. Let's see. I like that. Did I get that? Okay, I got that right. 
seven thousand. You see, I can spend a lot of my money very quickly like this. Right. You doing this right? Yeah. All right, and make sure looks a little. Yeah. Oops. Okay, here. Um, off clone. Okay. Um, may have. Okay, we right click and get rid of this stuff. Go into rooms. Oh, you can individually select all your rooms and then get rid of that. And now they're building. Okay. Uh oh. Alright, so we may have a little What's bit of an issue here. What's he doing? It's going a little nuts. He's a little. He's getting. He's a little happy. A little excited. <laughs> it's his first he build put order. All kinds of stuff in. <laughs> yeah, he's new. Don't worry about him. Uh, like, oops, runs off. Yeah. So where's the shower? The shower's right here. So I gotta label that shower again. Okay, we did that. Then we have to go into materials, demolish wall, and we can go ahead and demolish this. But now we had to add new walls, so we go to brick wall, replace that. We go into planning, get rid of that. Get rid of these corner blocks. I don't know where those came from. Alright, so they're gonna come in, they're gonna demolish that, and they're gonna place that wall back down. Uh, so we can go back to cloning. We can clone this and then place it back down over here where it's supposed to be, I think. Uh, yeah, I should come in and build, build okay, it correctly. Okay, so the plans are down. Plans are down. All the cabling and piping and everything's plugged in. Okay. So this should be... What am I doing? What am I select? What did I select? Clone tool selected. Okay, get rid of that. There you go. What am I recording? Okay. So yeah, now they should come in and replace or build these new cells. So it'll be look pretty good. Right, right. That. So that's three cell blocks done, and I think that's a that's a good place to stop. I think this went over everything. How to look at it, how to yeah. play. And uh, so, what do you think? Thoughts, comments, concerns? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Prison architect. Yeah, I want to see a a fight or a breakout or something. I don't know if I have a save for that. We could check. I mean, like, I, you don't have to, but... Yeah. That'd be interesting to see as you're playing, you know? Yeah. That's a reason to get it right there. Just just, just for riots. But with yeah. The, to um, the new failing condition, well, for some of them, I think if you have too many people die in your prison, you get arrested yourself, which is a cool feature. Uh-oh. Okay. Because then you become one of these little prisoners. You get, <laughs> you get assigned your own cell... You have to run around, but that well, right now that's limited to all you can do is just run around. So that's are really you alpha. someone then somewhere? Um, are you actually your no. person? Well, no. There's a no, warden, no. so you can say that's you. Because your oh, warden so gets arrested. There's only one warden? There's only one warden. You can only have one oh, warden. Oh, so there he is. That's you then. That's you, yeah. But there's also only one psychologist, doctor, and stuff. Oh, well, maybe not psychologist. Make sure no one kills him. Well, he has died, I think, actually. Oh. So, well, there is that. But we just brought well, whoever the warden is, yeah. you're the ward when easy. <laughs> <laughs> Replaceable. But when you're right. when you're your prisoner, uh, it says you for the name. And okay. And if, if you're one of the people that like bought with the bigger uh, thing for Kickstarter uh, package, your face is assigned to you. So that's pretty sweet. <clears throat> Which I think yeah. is still available on their website. You know. Can still do it. You can still do it. There's still time to kickstart uh, this game off early access. Uh, not Kickstarter though. I mean that's closed, but on Steam, available on Steam. You know. So I uh, just mentioned. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> other games, <laughs> other games are available, of course. So uh, there we go. Prison Architect, eat time. You see, they're all coming in eating. They really like spoons and a fork. Oh, wow, they're flooding in. Yeah. A fork seems That's to be the most dangerous, dangerous weapon in this game. One yeah. prisoner, one prisoner, like, was just standing right here. This is where it happened. Called the the gladiator stand. He was oh standing God. here, and then guards just started pouring in. He just stabbed them all with a fork and killed them. Really? Yeah, he killed one much guy. Much. One guy killed like four or five. Uh oh, fork guards. incident. Spoon incident. I don't know. Fork or spoon. All right. See, we'll we'll save here, and I'll see if I can get these guys to riot. Off all right. There you go. So thanks for watching. Everybody hit like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!